So we need to talk about social security because there are over 70 million people currently in the United States that get some form of social security every single month. However, many of them are struggling. Many of them cannot afford food on a daily basis, cannot afford their medication and have to ration, cannot afford their rent. And again, this is a huge issue. I wanna explain what's going on because there is a new bill that's being proposed to increase social security to millions. And I wanna explain who's proposing this and what exactly they are proposing. So make sure you stick around for that entire video and I'll explain exactly what is going on. But again, all I ask is one thing, it takes two seconds, go ahead, hit that like button if you enjoy these daily updates. And now let's begin. So when it comes to social security, many people have their opinion. They have questions, they have concerns. One of the big concerns is why is social security not keeping up with inflation? Why are millions and millions of social security recipients struggling every single month when social security was put in place to help those people, not to hinder them? Well, here's the bill that I wanna introduce. This right here, this is uh, from Senator Bob Casey. He's a Democrat. Um, he says, or says Casey and colleagues introduced bill to increase social security benefits. It's called, uh, or and help uh, seniors deal with rising costs. What I can tell you right now is this bill has a decent amount of support. However, it does not have enough support to pass at the moment. Let's, let's read this, okay? This is actually from, it's the United States Senate Special Committee on Aging. That's the website this is on, okay? Now, I wanna, I wanna just read this to you. Right here it says, the Boosting Benefits and COLAs for Seniors Act would ensure that social security benefits increase at a rate that actually reflects the costs seniors face. I think most of us can agree, social security is not keeping up with inflation. The cost of living adjustment in many cases is not what it should be, but it's what they're willing to give. And just based off of what the Senior Citizens League has projected for 2025, senior citizens are going to get a, a reality check. You are about to see a very low cost of living adjustment for 2025, and many people are already saying there is no way they can live off that. So let's keep reading this. It says Senator Casey, he says, Social Security is the promise of a safe and stable retirement. As the cost of basic goods and services for seniors rises, we cannot allow that promise to be broken. It says Casey introduces the bill in conjunction with a hearing on preserving and protecting social security. Now, I'm gonna read that to you in just a second, but I first just want your opinion. What do you think is about to happen to social security? Because one of the things that we have been facing over the past few years is the Biden administration came out before he was even elected president, and he said that he wanted to give social security recipients, every single one of them, $200 per month or $2,400 per year. That never happened. There was no proposals, there was no discussions. But what the Biden administration came out and said is that they have provided that $200 boost per month, but there was a slight increase because of the cost of living adjustment, but for many, that was closer to like $70 to $80. And then for, for almost everybody, they were reducing the cost of prescription medication. They were reducing the cost of other things. So that, in conjunction with the cost of living adjustment, that is what came up to about a $200 uh, benefit per month or boost. But that's not what he promised. Let's keep reading this. It says today, this is actually on March 21st, but it says today, US, uh, U.S. Senator Bob Casey, chairman of the U.S. Senate Special Committee on Aging, joined his colleagues, Senator Richard Blumenthal, Peter Welch, John Fetterman, uh, Kirsten Gill, uh, Gillibrand, and Bernie Sanders to introduce the Boosting Benefits and COLAs for Seniors Act. It says the bill will help seniors contend with rising costs by changing the way that Social Security costs of uh, living adjustments are calculated to increase benefits and more comprehensively reflect the cost incurred by older adults. Casey introduced the bill the same week that he held an aging committee hearing on preserving and protecting social security. Now, I wanna to touch on that for a second because he says 
The bill will help seniors contend with rising costs by changing the way that Social Security cost of living adjustments are calculated. Here's the thing. The Social Security cost of living adjustment, the way it's calculated, and we've talked about this on this channel before, the concern though is if we change the calculation and increase the monthly payment, the monthly benefit, this would actually cause Social Security's trust fund to become insolvent much sooner. So sooner than 2034 when it is projected to run out of money. You see the issue there? We can increase benefits. That's not a problem. But if we increase benefits, this is going to cause the Social Security Trust Fund to run out of money sooner, which means in the end, we would see a cut, a massive cut, about 22 to 24%. This would happen possibly in 20, 2033 or 2034. And that's not something any lawmaker wants to go forward with. So let's keep reading. It says for millions of older adults in Pennsylvania and across the nation, Social Security is a promise of a safe and stable retirement. As the cost of basic goods and services for seniors rise, we cannot allow that promise to be broken. The Boosting Benefits and uh, Colas for Seniors Act would help seniors contend with rising costs and ensure that Social Security remains a lifeline for all who need it. Here's the thing. For many, Social Security is not a lifeline. It's a, it's a luxury. They don't need it. And this is something that lawmakers have been somewhat discussing is why are we giving thousands of dollars to somebody that's making that has millions of dollars in the bank that makes more in uh, interest on some of their accounts than they do from Social Security? Why would they even need it? And so this is what many people are asking for. Well, let's let's do a means test. If they don't need it, they could live without it. Maybe we don't give it to them. But at the same time, these are people that have been paying into the system for decades. And so some say they are required to get it. They sh We need to give it to them. We can't take their money and then not give it to them just because they're doing well in the end. It just doesn't make sense. Let's keep reading. It says each year, social security benefits are adjusted by the cost of living adjustment formula. The cost of living adjustment is currently based on the consumer price index for urban wage earners. It's the CPI-W from the previous year. The CPIW is reflected of the of the everything spending of Americans and excludes expenses like food, consumer goods, and housing, among others. The other thing that you need to understand is the CPI-W, the, the, so the cost of living adjustment, it's only calculated from the third quarter from the previous year. So first, second, and fourth quarters are not calculated. It's just the third quarter. So was that August, September, October? or no, July, August, September. Those are the three months that are calculated. Every other month, it does not factor into this. And that's what some are saying is, that's what's misleading. Goes on to say, despite this, social security benefits have not kept up with costs and older adults are left struggling to afford food, medications, clothing, and other necessities. The consumer price index for Americans age 62 or older, uh, CPI-E, is another price index that is more reflective of the actual costs incurred by older adults. For example, within CPI-E, medical expenses are weighted more heavily than they are in CPI-W. The Boosting Benefits and COLAs for Seniors Act would direct the Social Security Administration to adjust benefits based on CPI-E rather than CPI-W. If CPI-E would result in a larger increase in benefits, ensuring that seniors get a large enough increase in benefits to contend with ri the rise in costs they are facing. Now, I'm gonna stop it there. The reason why is this, because like I just said, if we increase benefits, it's gonna cause Social Security's trust fund to become insolvent much sooner. But in this, it says that the, the CPI-E medical expenses are weighted more heavily. Do you know what's weighted the most in the CPI-W? It's shelter. Shelter accounts for more than a third of the entire weight. That means your, the cost of your home. That's the thing that's factored in the most. But for many seniors, they aren't renting. Some of them own their home, but yet that's what's being reflected the most. And so what's crazy about what's going on right now is everybody has all these different ideas. 
okay? For example, and I will show you this one. Right here it says, uh, following these reports, he introduced the Shrinkflation Pre Prevention Act and the Price Gouging Prevention Act, okay? So these are just a couple different bills. Now, I'm not gonna get into those bills, but everybody has an idea of how to help, how to fix the issues we're facing currently. But as far as getting something done, nobody has an answer for that because it has to pass Congress. So just wanted to fill you in on this. Do I think this goes anywhere? I think there's some support, but as far as getting this passed through Congress at this time, it's not gonna happen. It's gonna take a little bit. There's gonna be some people that are, that are gonna look at this and modify it and they'll put out a new bill. But again, anything happening in 2024, highly unlikely. So that's where we're at at this time. Again, as soon as I know more about social security and what's going on, and if we see an actual increase, I promise I'll come back on and fill you in on all the latest news and updates. But as of today, that is what we know. So again, thank you guys for watching. Consider subscribing. I'll see you guys on the next one.